In the following examples, we're going to look at changing the subject of a formula. This is the first example of seven examples. A equals pi r squared. This is the formula for the area of a circle. The subject of this formula is A. That's because A is the letter at the left hand side at the front of the formula. We want to change the subject of this formula to R. So at the end of our question we should have an R at the left hand side, R equals and then the rest of our formula. Now there's a couple of different ways to go about doing this. This is one of the ways we can start. So we know that a equals pi r squared. So we can also say that pi r squared is equal to a. Pi r squared is equal to a. What that does is gets uh, r onto the left hand side we will, where we will hope it will end up. But we want to get r on its own and we don't want it squared so we need to tackle those things as well. Now the next best thing to do is try and get r on its own without the pi sign beside it. So first of all put down the r squared again and the a and we're going to try and move the pi. So pi is sitting beside r squared, that means we're timesing, this means pi times r squared. If pi goes on to the other side, then it changes to divide. So a is being divided by pi. So we know that r squared is equal to a over pi. What we want is r at the left hand side. So what we're doing is like unsquaring the R. And the maths word for unsquaring is taking the square root. So we're taking the square root on the left hand side to leave us with R. So that means we must take the square root on the right hand side also. So R equals the square root of A over pi. And that's our answer. We have now changed the subject of our formula to R. Our next formula is P equals 2 bracket Q plus R close brackets. In this formula we have P as the subject and we want to change the subject of the formula to Q. Now like last time, a good idea is to straight away try and get the Q on the correct side. So what we can do is if we know that P equals 2 Q plus R then 2 Q plus R is equal to P. So all we have done is just flipped this round. So we have 2 Q plus R equals P we're trying to make Q the subject of the formula. The best thing to do now is try and move this 2 onto the other side. Now 2 is timesing this bracket. So if we move it onto the other side then it's going to divide the P part. So Q plus R will remain on the left. P remains on the right. 2 is going to come across onto the other side and on the other side it divides. So we have Q plus R equals P over 2. What we want is Q is a subject so the next thing we're going to try and move is this plus R. If we change its side it changes to minus R. So we have Q on the left hand side P over 2 on the right hand side still plus R change side change sign becomes minus R. So we now have Q as our subject 
our formula is Q equals P over 2 minus R. And that's our answer. This is example number 3. Our formula is W equals the square root of X plus 2. Our subject is W. We want to change the subject of our formula to X. Now, what we can do straight away with this one again is flip both sides so that we have our X on the correct side, the side we want it to end up on. So if W equals the square root of X plus 2, then the square root of X plus 2 is also equal to W. So all we have done is just flipped the sides. Now, the thing that's causing a bit of confusion at the moment is this square root sign. Is there any way of getting rid of the square root sign? Well, on this side we have the square root of x plus 2. If we were to square this, then the square root sign would disappear and we would just be left with x plus 2. If we square the left-hand side, then we must have to square the right-hand side. So, square of w is w squared. Now we have x plus 2 equals w squared. We want x on its own on this side to be the subject of the formula. So that means we need to move our plus 2 onto the other side. When we change side, we change sign. So x equals w squared plus 2 changes to minus 2. So now we have x as the subject of the formula. So that is our final answer. x equals w squared minus 2. This is example number four. Our formula is A equals B minus C. The subject of our formula is currently A. We want to change the subject of our formula to C. Now, each example so far, what we have done at the start is we have slim, simply switched the sides. This time, that isn't such a good idea. What we want is C as the subject of the formula. If we switch the sides, then we would have B minus C equals A. That would leave a negative sign attached to the C, and that is something that we would uh, rather not have. So at this point, a better thing to do would just be to move our minus C. Now, if we're to move the minus C onto the other side, then we change side, change sign, it would become plus C. So first of all, writing down the things that are staying where they are, we have A on the left and B on the right. Minus C, change side, change sign, becomes plus C. So we have A plus C equals B. We want C on its own on this side, so the next thing we have to try and move is the A. So moving the A will leave us with C on the left and B on the right hand side. This A here means plus A. When we change side, we change sign, so it becomes minus A. We now have C as our subject, so our formula is C equals B minus A, and that's our answer.